Hey everybody, we're just going to do a quick video here on how to use the assemble and mesh boolean functions in Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio. We're in the print shop today, so you probably hear some printers going in the background. Hopefully you can hear me clearly over those. I got some free files from Maker World, and what we're going to make is a little candy dish with a frog poking his head through the bottom of a bowl. I got a frog and a bowl here and it looks like they're not quite the right size for what I want to do so we'll make some adjustments here in the size go up here to scale and we'll just change the scale of this frog Let's say 450 I like that 450 looks good 450% I want the bowl to be smaller though. I'm going to go with 80% here on the bowl. It looks pretty good. Now I want this bowl up around this frog's neck. So now that we've chosen the bowl, we'll select move up here and see what happens when we try to move this bowl up around his neck. It falls back down to the plate. Now the way you fix that is by going over here to your process and choosing your objects tab. Once you've chosen objects tab, you want to hold down your control button and select both objects. Right click on those objects, one or the other, and choose assemble. Now that makes these connected as one piece but that bowl still isn't where we want it. What we gotta do is go back over here to our objects area and choose the bowl only. Go back up here to move, choose our Z axis arrow and move this up where we want it. And there it is. I think I wanna move this up a little bit more and I kinda of wanna rotate it. Ah, yeah, I like that look better. I think that's about how I want it. So now that it is the way I want it, I kind of want these to be one color. So I can use one filament. And I want to go over here and choose our assembly. And then go up here to Mesh Boolean. Click on Mesh Boolean. Click on part one, select, and choose one of your parts. Part two, click on select and choose the other part. And you can see here we've chosen the dish and the frog. And then we wanna click on union. The union takes a few seconds to do. As you can see, I can't move this plate around and it's giving me the spinning arrow. So we'll wait for this to finish and we'll slice the plate here. So there you go. Got your frog candy dish. Let's take a look right here. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like those are tied in together pretty good. Excellent. All right, everybody, I hope you learned something. I hope this helps you make some new creations and make some money. Have a great day and thank you for watching.